Hello and welcome to another beer review here from the Czech Republic. Thank you very much for watching. Um, today is Friday and that can mean only one thing. Um, today is Sviansky Partek. So Sviani Friday. Now in case you're wondering what is Sviansky Partek, um, I have um, briefly talked about it in another video where I was reviewing a Sviani beer. Um, Sviani, Sviansky Partek basically means Sviani Friday and it was kind of invented or created by somebody from the um, uh, Facebook group um, Czech Beer Fan Club. So one of the members uh, one Friday decided that today is Sviansky Partek and it's actually now become a thing in that group um, where you know some of the, the members are aiming to have a Sviani beer on a Friday and then they would share their pictures or their videos um, with the rest of the group. So <laughs> quite interesting that you know something like this can actually become a thing and um, that people are, um, are really celebrating Sviansky Partek or Sviani Friday. Um, so I, I really like it, I think it's great, it brings people together um, and it's a little bit of a laugh as well. Um, so if, if you're not a member of the uh, Czech Beer Fan Club yet, um, maybe look it up on Facebook. If you just enter into the search Czech Beer Fan Club, it is a group um, that you can join and you can um, you know, connect with, uh, with like-minded people and also celebrate Sviani Friday every Friday. And to celebrate Sviansky Partek today, I have chosen to have a Sviansky Knieze. Knieze is uh, the kind of the Czech word for um, duke, so in English it would be the equivalent of, uh, of, of duke. Um, there is a, um, another beer called Knežna, which is the Duchess, um, Sviansky Knežna, um, Duchess. That's the, uh, the dark beer, Sviani dark beer. Um, I will review that in another video, but today we are going to have the Sviansky Knieze. It's a, um, a strong beer, it's a Silne Pivo, as they call it, a pale strong beer with 5.6% uh, alcohol content. It's um, unpasteurized, so, you know, I'm looking for really for a nice freshness here. Um, and on the Plato scale, um, it has 13, um, 13 degrees. So, you know, a bit of a, bit of a stronger beer today. Um, so yeah, looking looking forward for a nice refreshment. And with the Silni Pivos, um, what I'm really looking for is a, a really nice maltiness um, that is really hopefully balanced nicely. But you know, you're getting a, a nice malty, um, a nice malty touch. That's what I'm really looking for here in um, in this beer. Now Sviani, I think I've mentioned this before, they are from um, the, 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 the Liberets area, uh, very close to Liberets between Mlada Boleslav and Liberets in the north of the Czech Republic. Um, you know, a kind of smaller brewery, I mean they're not, they're not huge, they're not massive, uh, I would say it's one of the middle kind of um, size breweries, um, but you know they are quite present on the beer market in the Czech Republic, particularly with their flagship beer which is the um, Sviansky Mass, although I probably think their 12 degrees Rittiersch um, is, uh, is a bit better than the Mass, but the Mass is probably the, the, the Mass produce that they really um, get out into every supermarket because it is just available um, everywhere. This one is uh, yeah available in some supermarkets but not everywhere. Um, you know you will find this in bottles most likely in Globus um, but the cans are not around uh, to you know you don't see them too often. Um, in fact I think you can buy them maybe on Rolik if you live in the right area Rolik.cz. Um, here we don't get them on Rolik or on Koshik uh, for some reason in our area they don't have them. Um, but then obviously you can pick them up in the brewery as well at the um, brewery shop in, um, in Sviani. I will be using my uh, Sviani glass today, uh, my Sviani Mannheim glass. I think it is the Mannheim. Um, I'm not entirely sure, but I think it is the, um, the Mannheim, which is quite nice if you can see it. You know, very thick and, and you know, nicely, you know, wide as well. And, you know, 
quite heavy as well so you really get a feeling that you are holding a beer glass and then the uh, Sviani logo printed on it I think it's very nice if you like beer glasses um, you know if you either collect them or you like to have the right beer glass for your beer all the time um, you can definitely buy this at the brewery shop as well along with another um, great selection of different glasses that they have they have a huge variety of um, of different glasses at Sviani but let's get this guy go it has a strong malty Hoppy aroma coming from it, but well, maltiness more so than than anything else. Very nice, very strong aroma. So let's pour this guy. Didn't do too well on the uh, on the foam yet, but that was my pouring. Um, but overall, I think it's a very nice impression. You know, it kind of it's it's a darker color, like you would expect from the uh, the strong beers, the Serena Pivos, and then a creamy foamy head. But unfortunately, I didn't pour it too well, so I'm sorry about that. But overall, a very nice impression. I really like it. So, nasavi. absolutely beautiful really really nice and what I really like about this beer is the maltiness that is very present in the beginning um, it's it's very very pleasant uh, present combined with a little bit of a hop aroma that you get through that it that is coming through um, and it's nicely balanced but I think at least in my view the maltiness is definitely more present than the um, the, the hop aroma but it's nicely balanced and it's just really really nice and it's refreshing as well and then in the finish you get a nice hop bitterness a de decent hop bitterness it's not overly strong but it's a decent hop bitterness that comes through and lingers around a little bit but only after you finish you don't get that while you're drinking it just kicks in as you finish and then it stays for a little bit very very nice I really like this now, of course, with a beer of 5.6% alcohol content, you also need to be careful. Right? So today, is, it's, it's Friday afternoon, it's not too late yet, it's, uh, I think it's around 5.30 now. Um, if I would have a few more of them, you know, my Friday would be done very, very quickly. So I do recommend to, to exercise some caution when having these beers and have a heavy meal with it as well. Um, and when I talk about heavy meal, I'm really talking about a kind of pork knuckle or, you know, a big heavy steak with, um, you know, maybe some, some, some fries around it, um, maybe a heavy goulash as well. I think that could work also quite nice with this. But with these type of beers, I think any kind of meat dish, heavier meat dish or heavy stew um, could work really well with, uh, with this beer. So overall, I think this is really nicely done. Um, a great beer, again, from the Sviani family of beers. Um, I haven't had a Sviani beer that really disappointed me yet. Um, so overall, very, very, very nice. I like it a lot. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you have had um, Sviansky, Knieze or any other Sviani beers before, let me know in the comments what your thoughts were. Subscribe to my channel for more beer reviews here from the Czech Republic and I really hope I will see you again in the next video. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day. Bye bye.